Hi there. The Erva Trap is a line from the game Alec Hine against Erva 1937 in the Nimzo Indian classical variation. D4 and Knight F6 the Indian, C4, E6, White plays Knight C3, aiming to get E4 in on the next move, so that's prevented by the pin Bishop B4, the Nimzo Indian. White has many choices available here. Queen C2 is the classical variation. And in this position, the move d5 has been played by Kasparov, Kramnik and Carlsen. Even though castles and c5 seem to be a little bit more popular. So after d5, white takes on d5, drawing the queen into the center so she might get harassed. But first, e3 solidifies the center and defends the pawn on d4. C5 is met by bishop d2, which breaks the pin and so hits the queen. The knight now on c3, aiming to take the queen. So black trades, bishop takes on c3. Black saving time, not wanting to move the queen again. And the recapture by the bishop is thought to be the best and certainly the most popular. Although b takes on c3 is around equal so after black castles and now knight f3 in order that the bishop can move out so that the pawn on g2 isn't going to be targeted now knight c6 was played b6 was also possible white now can play c4 hitting the queen and when the queen drops back to d6 most common here would be bishop c3 but in the game Alec Hine with white pieces took d takes on c5 and after queen takes on c5 rook b1 putting the rook on the open file black plays e5 a solid pawn in the center and it helps to release the bishop along the diagonal from c8 and now bishop d3 um, is the fatal move in the game itself knight g5 was played also possible here would be bishop c3 is fine or bishop e2 but this move bishop d3 is the losing move and black can win now first of all with the obvious fork by playing e4 because after e4 bishop takes on e4 white thinks he has enough pieces covering that e4 square but after knight takes on e4 and queen takes on e4 winning a pawn but now bishop f5 is hitting the queen as well as the rook and that's winning material here for for black if rook to b5 then black can simply take the rook queen takes on b5 c takes b5 and bishop takes on e4 because b takes on c6 and bishop takes on c6 leaves black with a winning advantage. So this has been the Erva trap in a line from the game Alec Hine against Erva in the Nimzo Indian classical. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.